And good morning back here on a Monday, Aaron. You mentioned we're going to sort of get a break from kind of this rainy pattern we've been seeing. Yeah, we're even going to see some sunshine today across parts of South Central with a better chance into our Tuesday. With that being said, some isolated showers still possible. We're seeing that through parts of the valley as well as Prince William Sound this morning. Uh, even Kodiak holding on to some uh, rainfall as we start off your Monday. Uh, Monday. 39 degrees in Kotzebue, 37 in Ukiavik, 38 in Nome, uh, out towards the Aleutians, 40s and 50s, and then rain continuing uh, for the Panhandle. So we're still seeing uh, several areas of low pressure, keeping that chance for some cloud coverage and rain with us uh, across the state, more so uh, out towards uh, southeast, where we're going to see anywhere from a quarter to an inch of rainfall. And then we've got an area of low pressure out towards the northwest Arctic borough. That's going to keep some areas uh, along the slope seeing some wintry mix here uh, through the day. But from south central out towards Kodiak as well as Lake and Peninsula, uh, we're seeing more in the way of some isolated scattered activity uh, this morning. For the remainder of the day, our better opportunity for some rain will be the valley and Prince William Sound and maybe out towards uh, east Anchorage. But already seeing those clear skies across the Kenai, as that sun rises, it's going to be a beautiful start uh, to your Monday. Temperatures were turning back into the mid-50s today, which is fairly seasonal for this time of year. Uh, there's that 10 to 20 percent chance for seeing those showers through the day. Uh, winds really not going to be much of an issue for Anchorage. However, the Kenai could see some breezy northerly winds uh, later today. And this comes as an area of low pressure to our south. Uh, is really going to miss us here in South Central. It could bring some isolated showers out towards Prince William Sound, but taking an approach towards Southeast uh, as we welcome in the late afternoon and evening hours. Uh, and then we're going to see some sunshine as we welcome in your Tuesday uh, with those clear skies through the night. Don't be surprised if we wake up tomorrow morning with temperatures sitting in the 30s. So we could see some areas of frost as we start off your Tuesday morning. Clouds return through the evening hours and we're going to see some rain showers overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So that's the break we're catching before more rain arrives uh, by the middle of the week. And Wednesday looks to be a wet and cool one uh, across South Central. So enjoy the sunshine that we're going to see today uh, as well as Tuesday because by Wednesday and Thursday you can see a uh, little if any sunshine can be expected as that overcast skies uh, is set to make a return. And that's where we're going to see the heaviest rain Tuesday night through at least early Thursday. And then the weekend also shaping up to be a bit on the drier side outside of uh, some isolated activity for South Central. Temperatures today across Southeast warming into the 50s up to an inch of rain looks possible uh, through the southern inner channels and then across South Central uh, sunshine breezy conditions from Homer Seward as well as Kodiak uh, where we could see those winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour uh, isolated showers and breezy for Whittier 55 degrees in Valdez 48 degrees in Gold Cannon. Notice those overnight lows uh, easily dipping down into the 30s. In fact, Willow could wake up at 30 tomorrow morning for a light freeze expected. Uh, so we're going to see some parts of uh, South Central seeing some frost to start off your Tuesday morning back into the mid 50s before showers arrive as we welcome in your Wednesday.